So how did you guys meet Susan Ebert? Did you meet her before I did? Yeah, or did we meet her? I did. Oh, I did. Where did I meet you? I mean, I know I reached out to you, but we had already spoken before that. But I yeah. was trying to think back on that. I'm like, when was the first time we actually didn't met? We, didn't we meet on the couch in the office? That and then we really talked good. for a really long time? <laughs> That's did. where I met you. Yeah. I don't know. But you and I had spoken before that, and I don't know. It, it, Who it, connected us? Just count my Shelby. Up. James Shelby. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah. But you were already in my phone, so I was racking my brain. But, okay, so I can't answer exactly where I met her. <laughs> she was in my phone when I reached out to her, so I was like, okay. Um, but for me personally, and I think for Rachel as well, we, you know, this is, we're the type of people like, like when we've house hunted, you know, we don't like to spend two, three months. So we do a lot of like, let's look and let's kind of do our due diligence from the outside looking in without people knowing and really just uh, the we other, stopped you. The, the, well it's funny because the other and I shouldn't say all but there's a lot of companies and a lot of offices that are trying to duplicate what's taking place here and so yeah. it's one of those mm -hmm. things where you know people notice it and I know like you don't like to take credit for that per se however you've you've provided an environment for it yeah. to flourish Yes. And uh, that yeah. most brokers aren't willing to do. I think not that they don't want to, but I think they're deathly afraid to do it because it requires going back to the whole faith thing. You mm -hmm. do things very differently, mm -hmm. very differently. Yeah. But that for us is what pulled us in and attracted us. But I don't remember exactly how we met. She was on my phone when I reached out. Well, her. and then it took a minute. And so when you're on this side, you're like, oh, are they going to come? You have to remember to ask them to come. <laughs> <laughs> Remember telling you want them to come work here. Sometimes I forget that when I'm talking to people. Yeah. Um, but I was starstruck. I was a little bit starstruck. And I was like, what? Can They're you come and deal. talk to me? Yeah. yeah. And I was so excited. So I loved when I met you. Like okay, that. so first of all, I'm shallow in that I think that you're both beautiful human beings oh. on the outside. <laughs> and so I love all that, being the cute couples when you're young and you're in the fours, <laughs> you know, twos, threes, and fours, and fives. Yeah. And you have your small kids, but you have these beautiful teenagers, and when we were talking, I was like, these people are real, and you're really going to do something, and you were wanting to launch something, and you had a vision and a dream, and I was like, oh, they're a good fit. I don't yeah. know if they know it, but they would fit here, and it was really exciting for me. That's yeah. awesome. Like, yeah. Well, and I, and I loved that, like, when you talked about, um, you know, obviously, just kind of, uh, you're not, how do I put this? I don't want to offend anybody, but I like that it's important to you that people are a good fit there. How's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. Put yeah. properly without offending anybody? Well, I know, and I know for me that when we were looking, we had talked to several brokerages. Yeah. And it was like you go in and they give you like the whole sales pitch like the of Mike why Ferry you should be there. Street. And I'm like, I've been to Tom Ferry. I know what you're doing. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I just want to know what you have to offer. You know, and our thing was we want. A good environment we don't care if we're paying a split or flat rate or whatever we just want a good environment and like we came and met Susan and like yeah. I was like yeah this is it you know and then after we left there were several other people that were trying to get us to come over and 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 he'd be like well what about this one mate nope we're going to signature yeah, we, we did <laughs> we did a lot of homework yeah and I will give one little extra plug if we mm -hmm. have time um, it it's a great compensation model here, but that wasn't what did it for no, us. No, not at all. Because we did talk to other companies that, you know, didn't offer as, like, we were really open-minded with, like, let's take compensation out of it. And mm -hmm. so I know, like, as a company, oftentimes what's promoted or talked about is compensation. Um, that's, like, cherry on top. But I, I honestly, like, it's just, like, you know, the, the people, really, and, like, the mm -hmm. environment – and again, I know you don't want to take credit for it, but just kind of how you've um, laid a certain foundation for people to grow on for is. Sure. Just let people do what they want to do as yeah. long as it's legal. Yes. Yeah. That yeah. was the biggest thing for us. And, yeah. and you, well, no, I don't mean anything else. That was the biggest thing for us. Yeah. 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 And I mean, where else are you going to go where your competition are also your friends? Like they're also, also going to help you, you know? 
And that was defi- that's definitely well, and I'm good. selfish when I talk to people coming in because I always think, oh gosh, look at what they could contribute. Right. And so yeah. I'm coming from the other perspective of knowing when you come on, oh gosh, these people are going to flourish and there's new blood and there's faces and there's different systems and there's different stories mm-hmm. and there's different careers. And I know that you had so much to contribute. And so that's really exciting when I, on this side of the couch. Mm-hmm.